we're gonna get started with the soup, y'all. All y'all need is a pot about this big. This is my old trusty pot. I like this pot. So for this size pot, I only did four potatoes and we're gonna dice them up. So I'm gonna wash them off in a minute. As you go along, you want to clean your mess. And so I'm not cutting up onions. I end up getting some chopped onions. I'm cheating on this soup, y'all. And the reason why I like this soup is because you could just dump any kind of vegetable you want to in it. Not green bean, not uh, sweet peas, though. No. I only use corn, carrots, onion, and sometimes I take the from the florets of the broccoli and put it in there. But I'm using the broccoli cheddar rice, so I'm not going to be doing that. So... What you want to do is turn your stove on. Turn your stove on. You want to add a little butter to the pot. Why are we using butter? Because butter makes everything taste better. So, y'all, margarine. It is not healthy for you. It is nothing but oil. Butter is more natural. So stop using that imperial butter and get y'all some butter. I use the um, salted butter. Okay, so now that you have your butter in there, and so this whole bag is... 12 ounces. You don't need that much, but I am. I'm using the whole bag because it is a vegetable and it's going to make, it tastes good. So I'm going to dump this whole bag in here. They got leaves, I mean the peel in here. So. Put the whole bag in there. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. So I can bring this over here so y'all can see it. Um, I know my battery. What? My battery is saying it's low. I'm going to have to hook y'all up. Hold on. Okay, so... Got the onions in the pot, and so just want to cook them just a little bit. And I'm only cooking them down just a little bit. You really didn't have to, you could have just dumped the whole bag in there, but I like to just make them a little translucent. And so it didn't take long because one, they are frozen uh, onions. And so they are already at a point where it's good. And so y'all gonna go ahead and add your milk in here. And so I'm glad I got two because this is not enough. Okay, so instead of using chicken broth in here from the can, I just use the Nors. Uh, chicken flavor bouillon it's another one nothing but bouillon something I don't know but I hear that's supposed to be good as well too I see a lot of youtubers cooking with it and so for now I'm adding about this much and um, keep in mind that this bouillon it is it is powder and it's concentrate so you know it, it has a salt flavor to it already so you don't have to be adding a whole bunch of other um, spices to this and because I've been making this soup for a while I pretty much know how much I can use and then I just want to tell you guys a quick trick if you ever I'm making a mess if you ever are making a soup um, or whatever and it's too salty you could 
drop a potato in there. So that this is actually how I started putting potatoes in this soup because I end up putting too much of the bouillon and then I added a potato and the potato absorbed majority of the salt and it came out the bomb. So from, from this point on, I always add potato in this soup. Okay. So I'm gonna add the other one. Howdy. Howdy. Hey, how's it you? How are you? Water now. Okay. Hey. Okay, that's two. All right. I need you. That's right. I think you more than Okay, so the timing with everything is important. And so before I add anything, I want to make sure the taste is right in here. Because when you add everything, you know, uh, it needs to be seasoned well so that everything else tastes good as well. Okay, so you want to add the vegetables. That's going to take the longest. So now I'm about to cut up the potatoes and then I'm going to add them to the soup. I should be using my cutting board, but I'm not. I'm gonna get it. So this is the size I cut the potatoes up to. And so I'm gonna dump these in. And I am gonna add some onion powder, which I always do. I'm tripping. Onion powder, a little bit of garlic. Okay, so I cut the potatoes, re rinse them. Okay, I'm gonna add some onion powder. Onion powder, 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 and some parsley. I'm only adding the parsley really because of the color, and to you know, so you got a white soup and and yellow, orange, corn, yellow, orange, carrots, and so a little bit of green in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and add bouillon. Let's add these. Potatoes. All right. So I added the rice and the package into it. And just stirring it up. So normally I add, uh, I bake some chicken tenders, non bread it, season it up real good, then chop it up, put it in here with all of this stuff the potatoes, carrots, corn, and all of that stuff now. But because I just bought a rotisserie chicken, that actually can go in last. So since I'm only making this size pot, I'm not going to add any more liquid or no more rice or anything. Because I said we're eating it for today and a little bit for tomorrow. So right now, this is what it's looking like. And so I'm just going to let that cook. And then I'm going to hit y'all back in a sec. Okay, so you see the soup cooking. So it's important with this soup that you don't let it just be boiling. You got to remember that you're working with milk because it will curd over. So I kind of just keep mine on a simmer. Well, a low heat. And so, then that way it won't start looking all curdy. Because eventually, this, you're dealing with milk, is going to thicken up after later on today. But for now, it's, it's going to be like this. And so everything in the pot is still not cooked all the way. That is the chicken. And so I cut up the chicken. And so the chicken, I am only using, I am only using the, the breast part of the chicken. I'm not going to use the dark meat. So yeah, that is what I'm going to use. So this is how much chicken I have from the rotisserie chicken. And that is more than enough for the size pot that I'm making. And then the rest of the chicken can be bagged up and used for a sandwich or something. So yeah. Look, so the stuff that I'm using, I told you guys the basic ingredients for this soup. So if you want your soup to taste a little bit more spicier saltier whatever the case may be at according to what it is that you like and that is what i'm doing here you know um the soup i i normally make is not going to be bland but i don't want it to be salty either and so 
um, look, look at, let me show you. So it's cooking on simmer. And so you see how, you know, when you, when you stir it, you know, you, you, you can start to see the thickness that's building up on the side of the pot. So that is why I keep mine on the simmer. And so you got the carrots, you got the corn, potatoes, and you have the rice in there. And so remember, you put the cheese sauce in there as well, too. You dump all of that in there. And then you don't have to use that one if you don't want to. You don't have to use the cheddar, uh, broccoli cheddar one. You could just use the, the broccoli mix. You know, you can do that. But this is a soup where you can add as many ingredients as you want to. But I don't particularly care for green beans in my uh, soup. Oh, I normally add celery, but I forgot. To get celery so that's okay so yeah just let the soup cook until the vegetables are tender not mushy tender and seasoned to your liking and because the, the chicken that I use is rotisserie I'm just gonna dump that in you know soon you know well after the vegetables uh, get tender so yeah that's how you make that soup and so I'm going to end this vlog and then I will definitely uh, show you guys a picture of my cornbread and my soup. Yeah, I told y'all I'm using Jiffy cornbread. I normally don't make homemade cornbread until I do like a broccoli cheddar casserole or something like that. That's the only time I make homemade cornbread with uh, yellow cornmeal. Other than that, I am using Jiffy because I like it. So yeah. I'll catch you guys back in a minute. Peace. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut off the soup because the potatoes are tender. And so I told you, you don't want to cook the stuff until it is mushy. And so this is how the soup looks, you know. And so now I'm just going to let it sit. And I'm going to go ahead and dump the chicken in there as well. Go ahead and dump all of that chicken in, in there. So I almost, um, I'm gonna have to do it like this because I'm trying to hold the camera and vlog for y'all so y'all can see. Yeah, so get all of that in there. Get all of that, get all of that. Okay, and so now stir this on up in there. And it's okay to do this chicken like that because, again, it's rotisserie chicken. It is already seasoned. But if you were not using rotisserie chicken, definitely you would want to put your chicken in when you put your potatoes and carrots and corn. So, yeah, I'm about to, so yeah, I'm about to move this off of the heat. I'm going to put it back here. And so it does not need to cook any longer. And so uh, it's going to sit. If we were ready to eat now, you know, the soup is good to eat right now. But I am not ready to eat right now. I ate, a, I ate that bowl of cereal. I'm drinking my water. Look, I want to show y'all once you take it off the stove and you let it sit, I want you to see how creamy um, the soup end up getting. So, look at it. Look at that coating. Just look how it coats the spoon. So, yeah. This is ready. So, yeah. Once I bowl it up, I'll let y'all know. Okay, y'all. So, I'm done with the soup. I'm, about, I'm done with the soup. I'm done with the soup. So I'm about to uh, bowl it up so y'all can see. You know, I already started putting my mom's in there. But look, you can see the, the, uh, the, the you know, the thickness in the soup. And then it's, it's only going to get thicker as time go on. Yes. Right, and I'm going to let you get your own. But this is mine. Mm -mm. Y'all, this is the bomb. And I told y'all the way how I end up putting um, 
potatoes in this thing is because one time I added too much bouillon and I was just like, uh, let me put some potatoes in here. And those potatoes absorbed all of that saltiness, y'all. And so now I just like putting potatoes in my soup. You want to get your own right now? I need a few more carrots in mine. That one is mine. You can get yours. Okay, so I done made some cornbread over there too. Yeah, my stand acting up, but I have a new stand when my light come on. Let me pray right quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I ask that you would bless this food about to receive maybe nourishment for our body in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. But y'all, look at that. Hold up. How, you, how they be doing that? But look, y'all see that? Y'all see how thick it is? Mm, mm, mm. But look. I can bring this down so y'all can see. Y'all look. Come on now, look. Look at that. That is good. Y'all, this soup is the bomb. Yeah, look, if y'all try this soup, y'all let me know. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna like it. That is a good comfort food. That is a good uh, meal for when it's cold outside. And look, I told y'all I'm making Jiffy cornbread. That's exactly what I made. And yes, I put butter on it because butter make everything taste better. So look, I'm about to go get my mom her plate. I'm about to eat and I'll hit y'all back later on peace look i think that this is gonna be the end of this vlog i think we have vlogged enough for today and so look i'm gonna check y'all out sometime tomorrow or who knows my husband may get on later on and vlog but i appreciate y'all for joining in today if you have not subscribe right. please go ahead and subscribe to our channel right. like our vlogs right. comment let us know if you cook this soup right. please let me know what you think about it and again we appreciate you for supporting our ministry peace